Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're looking at f of x is equal to e to the x over 2x squared plus x plus 1. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the derivative of x. We're going to do that using the quotient rule. Since we have a fraction here, we can start with the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator all over the denominator squared. Solve them for these derivatives, keeping this first term the same. We have two x squared plus x plus one times the derivative of e to the x, which is just e to the x, minus e to the x times the derivative of two x squared. Get the coefficient out first, then you bring down your exponent, two, and then you lower the exponent by one. So two minus one is x to the first power, which is just x, plus, the derivative of x, it's a linear term, so its derivative is just its coefficient, which is one, plus the derivative of one is just plus zero. So we don't even have to write it. Two x squared plus x plus one squared is still on the bottom. So we have this times e to the x minus this times e to the x. So we can factor by grouping and say e to the x times two x squared plus x plus one minus two times two is four x minus one. This is over two x squared plus x plus one squared. One last step, simplifying, combining like terms. We have e to the x times two x squared plus x minus four x is minus three x plus one minus one is zero. This is over two x squared plus x plus one squared. And this is your derivative. In comparing the graphs, of the derivative to the original function, we'll notice that while the function is increasing, the value of the derivative is positive. And when it goes from increasing to decreasing, and the sort of slope, you can think of it as zero, then the value of the derivative is zero. Then it's decreasing a little bit right here, so the value is negative, and it goes back up to increasing, which means it's positive, but before we do that, we hit zero. So that's how you compare the graph the function to the graph of the derivative. But anyways, this is your final derivative. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.